I think it's uh, the number one challenge is price. So the consumer these days is much more savvy on price. So what we're finding as a franchise retailer is, can we match the price in the home market? Because in the past, many, many years ago, many franchise operators were able to charge a premium to the price in the home market. Now, if I'm buying a Zara product in Spain and I'm buying a Zara product in Saudi Arabia, I'm going to look at price. and I'm going to make sure that I'm paying the same price or equal price. So price is the number one challenge for franchise retailers because we have to, in many, many instances, charge a little bit more to pay for the cost we have to pay, the royalty, et cetera, et cetera. So price parity is the number one challenge that we have. Second to that is people. Second to that is talent. And the talent, especially in this part of the world, is finding the right talent through a program of nationalization that is going on at the moment. So in Saudi Arabia, we're nationalizing the workforce, um, which is hugely exciting, but at the same time challenging. So I think price and people are the two, the two main challenges we have as franchise retailers. We're teaching people from scratch. And we've got now, we have over 12,000 Saudis work for us. Over half of them are female. And many, many of our stores are just 100% managed by females. We have a Starbucks drive through in Riyadh. Everybody that works in the store is female. And if you'd said that to me five years ago, I would have said it would never have happened. And it's fantastic. They're loyal, they're hardworking. Um, and it's, it's a great transition we're going through, but the training piece is so important. Something we focused on a lot last year was the year of loyalty for Al Shire, and we did a new program. Uh, the program is called Aura, A-U-R-A, -A, and the program is across 70 Al Shire brands across 18 countries where we have the ability for customers to earn and burn in any of our brands. So I can go and shop in American Eagle in the morning and spend in Shake Shack in the afternoon. I can go to Victoria's Secrets in the evening and spend it at H&M the following day. So I can earn and uh, burn points across all 70 brands in any country. So I can go to Dubai in the morning and shop, go to Saudi Arabia and shop in the afternoon, and I've got that ability to collect points under one program, which is all digital, so it's all on my phone. It's the simplest program in the world to use. And so what we're doing now is seeing how can we personalize those messages to make that American Eagle customer shop with us not twice a week, but three times a week, and then get them to shop in Shake Shack at the same time because they're a little bit hungry and they fancy a burger. So it's a, it's a, it's a great initiative for us. We have five million registered members in less than a year. Um, which across this region is unheard of. So now the question is how do we personalize the messages for those 5 million customers, but it's something we're very, very proud of. For us, it means a lot of positivity. I was saying in the, in the conversation I was in earlier that there's no better place in the world to be than the Middle East, in my opinion, at the moment. Consumer confidence is high, consumer engagement is very high. What we need to make sure is we just tap into that consumer where they want to shop, when they want to shop, and how they want to shop. Because it's not all about the malls, it's the malls and all the other uh, social media, online presences. How do we get that consumer, wherever they want to shop with our Shire, to shop with us? And we're hugely excited because of some of the digital innovation that we're doing, some of what we're seeing, especially in the F&B space, um, the market's on fire um, and I think over the course of the next 12 to 18 months um, ho we, hopefully we can ride that positivity and we can exceed the expectation of our customers. That's what we aim to do every single day is when they come into an Al Shire store or act on an Al Shire online site they have a great, great experience. Congratulations to Panos and all the team at Retail Circle Leaders. I think what they brought together in Riyadh over the course of today and will do for tomorrow is something that I've not seen in this region for many, many years. Obviously, post-COVID, it's been hard to get people together, but I think the quality of the presentations, quality of the panels, quality of the interaction and engagement is the best I've seen. And I think its proof is basically the people that are attending. And if I look at all of the major groups across the region, everybody is here. Everybody has decided they want to be here for two reasons. One is the quality of the conversation, and secondly, because of how big Saudi Arabia is for all of our markets. So I'm really pleased to be here and enjoying the conference.